So I have an example here where I have this base class animal that's somewhat abstract and has a make sound method. And really, this should be a pure virtual method, but we'll just roll with it. Um, we have cow, pig, and donkey. They all inherit from animal, and they override make sound. So when I come down here and I make this cow, Betsy, and I say Betsy makes sound. Well, Betsy's going to moo. And then Wilbur here, he's going to make a sound. He's going to oink. And then donkey, well... You know, from from Shrek, they call him Donkey. So Donkey, Donkey dot makes sound, and he's going to go hee haw. So let me build that, run that, see the output. No surprises, all right? And we call a function, we get the right result. Well, even if you notice make sound here, I don't have virtual on this thing. So the reason we get the correct make sounds is because the compiler can see that Betsy is a cow, and so when I tell Betsy to make a sound, the compiler no, since Betsy is a cow, we need to jump to cows make sound. Same thing with Wilbur. Wilbur is a pig, so we need to jump to Wilbur's make sound. And donkey is a donkey, so we need to jump to donkey's make sound. Okay, so the, the compiler is able to statically analyze. Ooh, that's a big word, isn't it? Statically analyze. Basically, when we say static, it kind of pretty much means compiler, compile time. At compile time, the compiler is able to look at Betsy and re resolve which make sound function needs to be called. Okay, the compiler does that. Well, that's fine and dandy, but let's uh, let's uh, let's push this off into polymorphism land, and I'm going to say animal star animal gets. Well, let's just end it there. And then I'm going to do a switch. I think it's rand. Yep, rand mod 3. And then here we're going to say, okay, uh, case 0. If it's a 0, then animal gets new cow break. Alright, and then we'll do case 0. We're going to do case 1. And we're going to do case 2. So now, we really don't know what this animal pointer is going to point to until this code runs. All right, this code has to run before we actually have animal pointing to an object out on the heap. Okay, and I should be good here. I need to delete my pointer. Delete animal. Okay, when we're done with animal, we're done. <sighs> All right, so the compiler, at this point, the compiler can do some static analysis. So the compiler can look at this and say, well, this is an animal pointer. So I can do animal kind of things. But not until this code actually executes and I get a random number do we really know what is animal pointing to? What's the actual concrete type? Okay, the compiler compiler can't see that. Compiler doesn't know. All it knows, the compiler, all the compiler knows is that it's an animal pointer. So if I turn around and say animal makes sound, here's the question of the year. Let me drag this down so we can see all of our code. And I love it when it does that. I get I get a different font in the second window. That's or font size, I guess. Um, so when I say animal make sound here, which of these make sounds is going to run? You'd be wise to pause the video and think through it and think, which which make sounds going to run? So pause the video. No, I said you need to pause it. So pause it. Okay. So now that you're back, let's run it and find out. I'm gonna control F five. Notice I'm making a cow, a pig, or donkey. It's going to be a cow, a pig, or a donkey. Build it. Run it. Wah! Output. Did you expect this, animal? If you did, that's good. Because make sound is not virtual. All right? The compiler, and that, 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 that's, that's a key concept here. Since make sound is not virtual, the compiler, not the runtime code, but the compiler bound this make sound to always go here. Because the compiler realizes, well, it's not virtual, so it can't go anywhere else. So it always has to go to this one. All right, hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Now, now, if I come up here and I say, all right, virtual. Well, now we get the polymorphism. Let me run this. and We're going to get a random animal. We don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Neither does the compiler. Run it. We'll get a random animal. We're going to get some output, and it looks like this time we got donkey. Okay? So, so good. Virtual, yada, yada, yada. Let's look at, I'm, the whole reason I'm making this video is because I want you to see 
what goes on at runtime, not compile time. The compiler builds all of what I'm about to show you. But the what I'm about to show you doesn't actually do anything until uh, runtime. Okay? In fact, I've just hit my, my five minute mark-ish around there, so we'll actually look at this in the next video.